Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Dragon Fist, and movie characters being confirmed. We got a lot of stuff to go ahead and get into in today's video, man, so I ain't gonna keep y'all for too long, bruh. But before we go hop into all that, my guy, listen, bro, you still got five seconds to choose your option. If you are ready for Sparking Zero, I want you to go right, hit the like button, and turn on your notification bell. But if you are not ready, my guy, I want you to go left, hit the dislike button, because you're just weird. But again, I ain't gonna keep you up for too long, man, because we got a lot of stuff to go ahead and get into. So let's go get to this video, y'all. All right, y'all. So look, man, first thing first, man, please make sure y'all watch this full video begin to the end so you do not miss a single detail. We got a lot of stuff to get into today, all right? Now, listen, man, we will be talking about the movies already being confirmed in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero and stuff like that from the interview. And somebody did point this out to me, bro, and I want to go ahead and talk about it a little bit because this kind of correlates to the movie thing. Now, if you did look in the trailer of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, um, Goku do do like a Dragon Fist thing with like Super Saiyan 3. Um, I'm just going to play a little bit of it right here. If you pay attention to it, you should pay attention, bro. Right there, I, I know it's delusional, but look, bro, right here, it's like him doing a dragon fist, bro. Like, and this is not in the trailer. Like, my, this right here, you saw him like winding it back. Like, come on, I'm not tweaking, bro. I know it, come on, bro. This is not, this obviously look like a dragon fist. You know what I'm saying? So he looks like he's doing a dragon fist right here. And it's kind of interesting because if you look right here, look at his clothes right here, bro. If you look at his clothes right here, he has his regular gi on. And if you go back to the scene when he do when he do go Super Saiyan three, when you do go Super Saiyan three, he has the blue outfit on. So that scene is just only for right there, bro. They did not show that in the like base trailer. He has this outfit on right here, the, like the Tournament of Power outfit when he used it. He went Super Saiyan three in the Tournament of Power. You know what I'm saying? Like this outfit. All right, now. Like I said, this could just be Goku just ultimate attack in Super Saiyan 3 when he just do Dragon Fist, which is very common in a lot of Dragon Ball games because that's Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4 ultimate attack. But I really think like for them to say it's confirmed already that we get in Z movies right here, like this says right here, characters from Dragon Ball movies will be included up to and including Beast Gohan probably. So with them saying that, you know, we already get in movies and stuff like that in the game, which is common sense like i'm hoping that we get that bro i don't is it can we get we could get big homie bro we gonna have to try to get big homie a rudigan bro you feel me what did goku outfit look like when he fought a rudigan like when he was beat up like did he yeah he still had he still had the orange thing on it was still kind of orange it wasn't complete it was did he tear it off that boy shirt grew back on Nah, he left it like that. I think it was left like that. Because the only time he had all blue was in Tournament of Power. Then right here, he still had like a little bit of orange. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, bro, it's a definitely chance that we could get a Rudigan. Y'all Tapion fans out there, we finally could see Tapion back in a Dragon Ball game. We already seen that great eight Vegeta's in the game. So for Giants and stuff like that, that is absolutely great. You know what I'm saying, bro? But like I said, bro, they already said that movies will be included in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Now, a lot of stuff I was saying was very delusional. People saying that it should be DLC. Sad. I don't think it should be DLC, bro. I'm just being honest, bro. I really hope Sparking really don't take the route of DLC like how Xenoverse did that we're paying for delusional characters. Like, bro, we paid for Deborah like in Xenoverse 2 and people was like hyped for that. Sad. Like, why are we paying for Deborah? So I hope we're not paying for like delusional characters like that. Now, maybe some Z movie characters might be DLC. Like, maybe Broly, I could see, but I'm hoping he's in the base game. Maybe Janimba. I'm hoping he's in the next game. I'm in the base game. And maybe Broly, Janimba, and maybe Cooler. Cooler. Them the only three people I feel like we should get DLC. All the other people, bro, we just need to be in the base game already. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because I just don't see paying for movie characters, bro. The movies came out in 1994. Why are we paying for movie characters? You know what I'm saying? Delusional. So, um, I want to go ahead and go over each and every characters I see we could talk about from each and every movie that we could get, bro. Now, Path of the Power, um... If this is in the game, just very delusional. I really don't care if this is in the game or not. It'll be fine if we get this outfit for Goku, maybe. I don't really care about playing through this movie right here. Sad, but, you know, um, like I said, if we can get this kid, because y'all know it's supposed to be Dragon Ball is supposed to be in the game. So if we get this little kid Goku outfit with the little blue thing, I feel like that's pretty fire. Scrolling down, delusional. Like, come on, bro. Let's be serious, bro. 
dudes know who cares about this dead zone um we could get garlic jr i think garlic jr would be fire as a little movie character he was in tenkaichi 3 so i definitely think he should be in sparking the world's strongest really don't care you was in tenkaichi 3 but i really don't care about you bro um but like i said it would be cool to have you in there still can get dropped off but i really wouldn't care bro um turtles we definitely need turtles turtles should be in a base game i don't think he should be a dlc character very delusional if he is i would not be hyped to pay for a turtles dlc and sparking zero sad but he came out 1990 bro why was we paying for him delusional um lord slug dlc very delusional if he's dlc very delusional came out in 1991 are we actually being serious bro it's sad if he's dlc uh but he should be already be in the base game bro but if though if they is gonna do a dlc then we definitely need false super saiyan because i definitely definitely want false super saiyan in the game bro. that's my main thing i want i'm hoping sparking please please do something with spark um, with false super saiyan bro that would be so beautiful to have that in the game let's keep going Cooler is very delusional if he is DLC, but I can see them doing that because I don't know what DLC route there might take in Spark and Zero, bro. Because if they're not going to do manga, they're going to have to have DLC. So it have to be DLC characters that we're going to get. You know what I'm saying? So Cooler, I can see him being DLC, but we shouldn't have that. Um, Return of Cooler. I don't know why they got Krillin right here, but it's delusional. But um, like I said, like I think all Coolers excuse me if one's gonna be dlc then the other has to be dlc because it makes no sense to put one unless he's in the base game and metal coolers dlc which is very delusional then i could see that happening but we could see bro android 13 bro um it's very it's like I, it's delusional if he's not in the base game but i could see him being dlc i really could see him being dlc I think an Android 13 trailer would be fire with the other Androids 15 and 16, whatever the other characters you have, 15 and 14. I could definitely see this being a DLC, so I wouldn't mind that. Broly, um, like I said, I hope he's in the base game. I, of course, I could definitely see him DLC as Broly. You know, he's always a DLC character in half of these games for some odd reason. But I think he needs to be in the base roster, bro. I don't think he needs, like, DLC. Uh... Bojack needs to be in the base game. I could definitely see him being DLC for some odd reason, but Bojack definitely need be. Well, I could see him being DLC because maybe him, his two little squad, Zanga, whatever how you say her name, them like they could be like a little pack. So I could definitely see that happening, but it needs to be in the base game. Um, Broly, we already talked about Broly, so nothing different. I def y'all know I want Bio Broly in the game. I already know y'all gonna start tweaking. Bro, bro, bro. I know. All right, I definitely want Bio Broly in the game. I will drop y'all off with Bio Broly. I don't know why I want him, but I do want him in the game. That's my one delusional character I want. Um, DLC freak, no, he should definitely not be DLC, but um, definitely need to be in the base game, bro. Um, Janemba, like I said, I definitely can see him being DLC. You can get Janemba and Gogeta. You know, they's always like they're just like a duo pack. You know what I'm saying? So you can get Janemba and him, and maybe Pycon as a DLC. You know what I'm saying? I can see that being a DLC pack, but very delusional that we're paying for Janemba in 2024 uh wrath of the dragon like i said we already talked about that man most likely that i think aruda gonna be fire if giants are playable 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 like online and stuff like that bro aruda gone will be so fire to use i ain't gonna lie bro so i definitely think aruda gone dlc would be cool um i could definitely see that happening you get tapion aruda gone um who else tapion aruda gone you might can get like a super saiyan 3 outfit or something i don't know bro but i could definitely see that bro Battle of Gods, come on, it's delusional. Like, Bears definitely need to be in the base game. He's not it's very sad. Um, Resurrects of Elf, you already, come on now. It's common sense. It's Dragon Ball Super Broly, um, like I said, I definitely think he needs to be in the base game. Um, I don't think he should be DLC, bro. Like, come on, bro. 2018, we're in 2024. Why are we paying for him still? Delusional. But like I said, I know they're going to need packs. I know they're going to have to try to make more money off the game. So I definitely see them doing that. But come on, bro. He needs to be in the base game, bro. Like, very disappointed if he's not but i mean we wait he is in the base game we saw we saw him in the trailer so he definitely is in the base game so that, oh, wait a minute they might be doing a good job with the route i forgot all about that so broly was in the base game we saw him in the trailer already so yeah so that's good bro um super superhero of course most likely this might um i don't know bro i really definitely think the super superhero characters definitely need to be in the base game and stuff like that bro um i don't know bro we just gonna have to look into it bro like i said i know this is a big thing with beast gohan and orange piccolo and everything like that but i just definitely think they should be in the 
Well, most likely they're gonna be DLC, man. You might get a pack with like Orange Piccolo, Cell Max, Gamma One, Gamma Two, and stuff like that, man. So we gonna have to see, man. But again, bro, is that all of them, right? Yeah, that's all of them, bro. But again, man, let me know in the comment section below which which movie character should be DLC, which one should not. Like I said, they already confirmed that they're going to be in the game, so that's very very good. And let me know if do y'all think this is Dragon Fist Goku right here? Do y'all think this is Dragon Fist Goku? Ah, like you can if you really look into it, you can kind of see it. Man turn like blue or something what the what boy doing a comment man how with his fist i don't know bro but again let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about it man again thank y'all so much for supporting the feedback man i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much man let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna keep y'all updated man and um oh, bro. um oh, no. President Rose.